There she is, the girl of your dreams, that dream crush that you see in school every single day. The person that you always daydream about, the person when you go to sleep, she's the girl that you're dreaming about. You're daydreaming about what life would be like if you actually went to speak to her, you guys actually started dating, even though you've never actually held a conversation with her. And every single time she walks up to your group and she's next to you, you feel like you've been spiked with anxiety and you, uh, you, you fall, collapse and die. Okay, but that's a bit of an overdramatic, <laughs> it's a bit over exaggerated. Guys struggle with breaking the ice. Now, this is literally from like, during to when I was quite, uh, let me, let me take these off because I, I can't, they, they hurt my eye, I'm getting a headache. This is from like when I was quite like clapped, right? And I had a friend who was not. He's been taking care of himself. He's been going to the gym. He like looks really good and everyone in school knows him. And he's like part of my friendship group. And everyone's like, oh my God, you know of that friendship group? Oh, isn't he so fit? Even him, he told me that the biggest struggle he had talking to girls, and he would talk to way more girls than I ever did. The biggest struggle was that first thing to say. That was the biggest hurdle, breaking the ice. Even for a guy who was way like more attractive than I was at the time and I was talking to way more girls than I was he still struggled with breaking the ice a lot of guys find that after they've said that first thing they've broken the ice that they can actually deal with the conversation quite well that they can actually hold the conversation and it's not really a problem for them uh, but when you're in like college and like school you're kind of forced to talk to girls so like like maybe it's that person who's in your class you're sat next to her like you're kind of forced to but what about people who are just complete strangers in public you're an adult and you're going to work or you're going to the coffee place just complete random strangers and a lot of guys do find that like if they're trying to like talk to more girls or like more women in the coffee shop or like wherever they are that they start to overthink oh should i go talk to her and then they keep overthinking and then they don't go talk to her and then they start to think should i have gone to her should i have walked to her should i have talked to her and you start to realize that overthinking about should have I gone talk to her, overthinking regret is so much more painful than rejection. And that's what I've learned from my own experience. Like I will think about like regretting should I have I not, should I have gone talk to her way more than what if I've got rejected. Like if I got rejected, she'll forget about me in five minutes and I'll forget about her in maybe a little more than five minutes, like 10 minutes. Because guys, when you get a compliment from a girl, you uh, think about that five years down the line. <laughs> uh, she said I smelt good five years ago. That brings a smile and a tear to my face. You see, from my own personal experience, from my own story, like this was like a very long time ago. This is like year seven. So this is like a really long time ago. My friendship group of where it was just us guys, we started involving in other friendship girls, friendship groups that were girls. And uh, we went out one time to like uh, Wagamama's, which is like a Japanese like restaurant. And like, we were all talking, but I wasn't. I was sat there and I wasn't used to this. I was so anxious. I literally didn't say a single thing. I sat down in silence and they thought that there was something wrong with me. Like I was depressed or something. Like there was something going on at home. And I was like, nah, I'm just scared of women. So they thought like that. But then over time, as I got more comfortable with them and I started breaking the ice and I started talking to them more, I became more comfortable. Talking to them became more natural. So that's how it was for me. And I'm gonna go through like three points for to for that you can implement now, three steps that will skip that whole like awkward phase of like trying to get comfortable with women because it's difficult if you're just meeting a random stranger. So I'm gonna give you three steps which are gonna sound really, really easy, but when you actually start trying it, it's gonna be way more harder than you think. And you're gonna think like, you're probably gonna skip some of the steps like, oh, that's too easy, what's the next one? You need all of these if you want to actually work, if you want this to work, you need all of these steps. And there's only three of them. Like, come on, man, it's only three steps. So listen to the end of the video because all of these will actually be really, really helpful. Now, step number one, spot the girl. Okay, you need to be open-minded about going throughout your day and just talking to girls as you're doing your normal stuff. And bear in mind, all of this has to be outside. You need to get outside more to be able to spot the girl because obviously you're not gonna, you don't have a bunch of girls in your house unless you have a bunch of like, like if you did have like a bunch of girls in your house right now, you wouldn't need this video. And if you have a bunch of girls in your basement, you need help. So obviously you clicked on this video 
because, I mean, there aren't women in your house. So you need to get out of your hobbit hole of a room. You need to crawl out and breathe the fresh air, touch grass. And you actually need to go out to like the shops or like go out to the gym or go out to that coffee place. And as you're doing all these normal tasks, which is outside, just keep just keep an eye out for like the girl that you want to go talk to. Spot the girl and you need to go outside for this. Step two, walk to her. You literally need to tell your legs, literally demand your legs, Move, goddammit, move. Don't think like, oh, should I go talk to her? Don't start overthinking like you see that girl in the coffee shop and then you start thinking, oh, she's quite attractive. She's my type. Should I go talk to her? Or maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I'll finish drinking my coffee first. Oh, but oh, maybe I should go talk to her now. Oh, but there's pe she's with people. Oh, no. Don't start overthinking, should I go talk to her? Only think one thing. Move legs, goddammit. Just tell your legs to move. That's all you need to think about. Don't start thinking about anything else. Just tell your legs to move. Because if you don't, and you start thinking about, should I go talk to her? The more you think, should I? You won't. If you aren't thinking about moving your legs to actually walk to her, you aren't actually going to walk to her. So literally just think, walk, that's it. And you will actually take a step. And the thing is that first step is like that first hurdle of breaking the ice. It's the most difficult one. It's the most difficult thing. But after you've taken that first step, it becomes easier. Each step you take to get to, to like walking to that girl that you see, you have more confidence in each stride because you, you're walking to her. You've made that decision. And yes, at first she'll probably like be shocked or like maybe even scared because like cold approaching girls, which is what this is technically called. Like it's not often that this happens. Like most guys are just like gremlins and hobbits that just live inside their room and don't go outside or see the sunlight for their whole days. So the fact that like a guy would come up to a girl and like say something that doesn't happen often. So yeah, she might be a bit shocked at first, maybe even scared because a lot of the guys or like people who do come up to you in like the random, like as a complete stranger, they're usually scammers like coming up to you and be like, Hello, please, I need two pounds for my sister that does not exist. Like, usually scammers, so that's kind of like inbred in our mind. Even so, like, it's not as, you just need to reassure that. Like, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to like scare you. I didn't mean to shock you. Like, oh, that's, that's my bad. I just saw you and I thought you were stunning. Or like, oh, we go to the same coffee place. I just thought you might want to get coffee. So like, just reassure that you're not a pervert creep. <laughs> Step three, you're literally, you've walked to her now. Right. You've gotten her attention, you've said, oh, hey, uh, like you've put up your hand, like you've like gotten her attention, you're in front of her, you've walked to her, you've done all of this, you've done step one, you've done step two, you've actually walked to her and she's in front of you. Step three, say something, anything. And the important thing about this, stop pre-thinking what you're going to say. When you walk to her, the only thing you should be thinking is walk to her, that's it. Don't stop like pre-thinking, oh, I'm going to say this. I'm planning to say this because planned stuff always goes wrong. Literally just go up to her with no idea what you're going to say and just say whatever naturally comes to your mind. One, you find this is way more comforting and way easier to do, like way more relaxing and like you'll find a lot more at ease because that's more natural for you. It's not like a forced conversation. And the thing is, you'll find that your mind is actually really good at coming up with shit on the spot. like. It's really, really good. Uh, you you'll walk up to, and then you'll like you'll just start picking up on things like, oh, we're in the same coffee place. Would you like a coffee, or would you like to sit down for a coffee? Or you've just noticed, oh, I thought we were really, really stunning. Thought you were really pretty. Or you've noticed that she's bought something from the shop. Like, oh, look, I, I probably I might have bought something similar. Like, maybe we also bought that same teapot. I, I don't know. Like, I'm literally just coming up with things on the spot. You need to stop pre-thinking stuff before you go talk to her because chances are it's not going to go how you expect. Like your perception of women is probably so screwed up because like porn and like all that kind of stuff. Like it's probably not going to go how you expect. And also this works with like sleepovers and stuff. Any like sleepover or like meeting with friends that you've like not planned and it's like spontaneous, like, oh, should we just have a sleepover tonight? Or like, oh, should we just meet up like today? Like the most spontaneous things are like the most fun. Anything that's planned, like two weeks from now, things are probably going to go wrong. Uh, and that's from my own experience. Maybe this is probably the same with you. Like, the spontaneous meetups with friends are the most fun. And yes, this is scary. I'm telling you to walk up to her without an idea of what you're going to say. 
Because you're so used to daydreaming about that crush, that dream girl, and not actually talking to her, the sound of talk going up, talking to her, and not planning what to say is scary. And this is because you have been inside pretty much like most of your life. You don't, you haven't been talking to like women your whole life. You haven't built up that social skill, that social confidence with women. You haven't leveled it up. You've just been a hobbit inside your room. So this is a complete scary new thought, like actually going up and like talking to them. It's, it's scary. Yeah, it is scary. Like, and obviously like there are times that I've gone up to like a, like a woman that I like, it's usually in coffee shops cause I, I, I like coffee. So it's usually in coffee shops for me. Like I go out and like talk to people. There have been times where I've gone up to her and I've literally had a mind blank, done all the hard work, got up to her, literally got her attention, walked to her and then just mind blank. And I don't know what to say. And I'm like, oh, sorry, I was walking up to you. I thought you were, I thought you were absolutely stunning, but like, I, I just forgot what, to, what I was gonna say. Or like, oh, sorry, my bad, wrong person. And just like, leave it as that. Yeah, that happens, 100%, that happens. And yeah, it's awkward, but that's life. Still though, that, like going up to her, not knowing what to say, just having a complete mind blank, and then just saying like, oh, like, my bad, wrong person. Like, even just that is still leveling up your social skill and social confidence with women better than it would be if you were inside your room not seeing the light of day like even that is still like feedback see and even if she rejects you even that is feedback to like improve that will keep building your confidence with women right it'll build up that confidence so you're not as awkward the same with me when i got more comfortable with the girls in my friend group it'll be the same with you but literally random strangers and that's the thing, like, you'll probably be thinking like, oh, but I don't want to get rejected. Negative feedback is still feedback. It's still good feedback. You're still improving your confidence. And actually, the more you get rejected, the more confident you are. It's better when you get rejected sometimes, because like, if you did all of this and you started talking to girls and like, it went successful every single time, like you keep doing this 50 times and it's like, oh my God, it's so successful. I'm so confident with girls now, but then it doesn't work one time. You get rejected. You'll be like, oh no, <laughs> I got rejected. What do I do? Shit. And like you start panicking. It's good to get rejected because then you learn. So it's negative feedback. It's still feedback. You're still increasing your confidence. So that's it. A little rundown. Step one, spot the girl, go outside. You don't have women in your basement, right? You need to go outside to find people. Yes, I know, it's scary. People are scary. You need to go outside, spot the girl. Step two, you find her, you see her, the person you want to talk to. Don't think about anything. Literally only think walk. That's it. Just command your legs to walk. Step three, you've gotten her attention. Go in front of her. Say something. That's it. Just say anything that comes to your mind. Don't pre-think of things that you're going to say. Just say whatever naturally comes to you. It'll be natural. And once you've broken that ice, there you go. The conversation starts flowing. The conversation starts flowing. And the thing is like, the reason like that's better than like pre-thinking stuff. There are times where like the conversation will go dead and you have those awkward silences. And if you like pre-planned everything, what you're gonna say for that first sentence when you talk to her and then it leads into a conversation and then you get to another awkward silence bit, you haven't pre-planned what you're gonna say for that bit. However, if you go up and say whatever naturally comes to your mind, when you get to another awkward silence, you'll just do it again. You'll just say whatever naturally comes to your mind. See, this is way more natural and it's way more like actual help helpful when it's talking to girls and you'll be way less awkward. And of course, any feedback, negative, positive, is still feedback, it's still helpful and it still builds up your confidence better than if you were just hiding under your blankets, fapping to like imaginary women on the internet who aren't real. So, yeah, that's it. Look, if you're on self-improvement, bro, you got this. You're about to go talk to that woman. Go outside. I believe in you. Now you just got to believe in you. Anyway, hopefully this helped you out. Stay consistent and do the best you can. Love you, bro. Mwah. So, as you can see, new mic. I don't know if this is, like, really loud. Like, this might be really loud and I had to redo the whole video, but I had to get an extension for it to work, to, like, from my camera to here. This extension is 20 feet long. It goes around my whole bloody room. I don't need it this big. That's what she said.